hello everyone and welcome to the channel i am abhijit and today in this video i will explain you how to count unique value in salesforce report so in salesforce report we have a term unique count which is a calculation that shows the number of distinct or unique values with a particular field and these unique values are individual values within a specific field or column of a salesforce report and counting of these unique values is not repeated in a single report that means even if they are in repetition they will count it only once so we are going to discuss to count unique value in salesforce report in two ways first we are going to count unique value in existing salesforce report and later we are going to count unique values in new salesforce report and counting unique values is possible in salesforce lightning version only it is not possible to count unique values in salesforce classic so let's move ahead and see the process of counting unique values in existing salesforce reports so right now i'm on the setup page of salesforce lightning and here on the app launcher you can click and search for the reports and under the items click on these reports so right now we are in the reports window of the sales application and from the list of the reports we have to select a report in which we are going to add a unique count so this is the report contacts and account detail report in which i will add unique count values and for that click on the drop down of this report and from the options in the drop down select edit and now you can see this report table on the screen and from here you have to select a column in which you are going to add unique count values so i will add unique count values in the account name so click on the drop down of account name and in the options of drop down you can see this uh, option show unique count i will click on this and save and run this report so now you can see after running the report on the top of the table you can see this unique account name which is the unique count of the account of this report so this is how we count unique values in an existing report in salesforce so now we will move ahead and see the same process for a new salesforce report so right now i am back to the setup page of salesforce lightning and here we have to click on this app launcher and in the search box search for the sales application and under the heading click on this sales application and now in the sales application of the organization click on this reports tab and now you can see this reports window is open so now we are going to create a new report and later we will add the unique value count in that report so in order to create a new report click on this new report button so in this step we have to select the category to create the new report so i am selecting accounts and contacts as a category and then again in the report type i am selecting contacts and accounts and after selecting the category and report type click on this start report button which is under the details section and now to generate records for this report we need to apply filters and for that click on this filters tab in the show me field i am selecting all accounts and in the created date we have to select the range for the records to display in this report so i am selecting the range for the all time and click on this apply button now you can see the records are generated for this report and now we need to save and run this report so that we can view all records related to this report and before that we will add the unique count and to add a unique count you have to select a column in which you have to add the unique count so i have selected this column account name and for that click on this drop down of account name and from the options in the drop down select show unique count and now click on this save and run button and now in this window we will enter the details to save this report so i name the report name as a contacts and account detail and as we click on this report unique name it will autofill according to the report name we have entered and in the folder section we have to select the folder in which we are going to store this report so i am selecting public reports folder so that this report is visible to all the users and now click on the save button as we click on the save button the report will run in the next window and here we can see all the records related to this report and now at the top of the table you can see this unique account name which is a unique value count so this is how we add a unique value count to a new report in salesforce lightning and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular update of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.